Sweet. Awesome. Right, okay. So go ahead and get yourself in a bit of space. We're going to do our normal bit just to start off with, just get moving a little while. So we're going to go from an inchworm, try and get our hips down to the floor, get a bit of movement to the spine, um, and then come back up into downward dog. So walk out, legs nice and straight into your push up position, and then let's drop the hips down to the ground. Big deep breath, and then we get a bit of movement side to side. Walking a little bit, get head through the shoulders into the downward dog position. Stretch as so much you can, head through. And let's carry in, carry on walking with hands. Stand all the way up. Do that twice more, nice and slow. So feet as close together as you can. Good stretch in the hamstrings and then just walk back in, nice and slow. Hips down. Okay, tuck the toes, let's walk in a little. Head to the shoulders, big stretch. And lock it. We're going to do that one more time. So we're walking back out. Let's walk in, head to the shoulders. Go ahead, walk up again, stand up nice and slow. Cool. Okay, right, down into our kneeling position. We're going to start upper body to begin with and then work our way down, okay? So, really, really simple stretch. We're just going to go hand across the body and pull that in close to us, okay? So, your forearms quite close to your elbow. You should feel that in the back of our shoulders or maybe if your pecs a little bit tight. Keep on going close to the body. Let's ease that off, give it a shake. And then this time we're going to go ahead the tricep a little bit more. So behind the neck, um, we're going to push that elbow down. Okay, ease that up. 
let's just repeat on the opposite side. So hand across the body, lift up to the chest. Again, shake out and then let's hit the tricep a little bit more so we go up overhead. Go down. Okay, let's go ahead and ease it off there. Arms quick shake out. We're going to go and try to open up the chest and the head a little bit more. So we're going to go into the scorpion stretch. Then a few times, just going to hold that a minute for our side. So we're coming in a laying position. We'll go left hand out to start off with. Right hand raise the shoulder. And we're going to try and get that opposite leg over. Open up the chest and push away from the floor with this. This opposite hand. Hopefully feeling it in the chest a little bit, maybe if your back's a bit tight, you can feel it in the lower back. Okay, good to the center, and then let's swap over. So right hand at this way. Big twist, if not chest. Okay, let's go back to the centre. And then if you come up to a kneeling position, just give yourself, give your hands a little bit of shake out. We are going to go on to the lat stretch next, so we should be feeling that down the side of the right of the ribcage, maybe into the shoulder a little bit. So again, we'll start on the left hand side, bring them up onto the knees and walk your hands across the body as far as you can with that left hand side. Let's get head down towards the mat. Push through the floor, get a good stretch down the side.
Okay, let's bring that into the middle. And then over to our right hand side this time. So big stretch across, head down to the back. Okay, good piece up there. Lovely, okay. Arms shake out a little bit. And then we're going to move on to lower body. Okay, so we're going to start off with the hips and the lifters. Do a few stretches on them. We're going to go for frog stretch to start off with. We're going to hold this a little bit longer than we've been holding our other static stretches. So feet out, heels towards the ground. Let's get those knees driving out as far as we can. And we're going to come down onto the elbows and try and relax into this pose a little bit. Okay, so we're trying to get the hips as low to the ground as we can. Feel like coming up onto the hands can get your hips a little bit lower. You can do that. Try and sink it to knees as wide as you can. Okay, let's take the elbow over to our left hand side. If you feel that helps the hip a bit more. And then over to the right for 30 more seconds. Okay, ease that up nice and slowly, so knees back together. Good place to shake if you need to. Good. Okay, so um, that was mainly for our hip 
hips and the third and the rear hip quads with a little bit more you might still feel this in your hips um, if they're pretty tight we're going to move from a kneeling position this time we want enough room for our bum to go into your heels so a little bit wider more than, than is comfortable for you and we're going to go hands back and we're just going to go for this position for 30 40 seconds and we're going to see how that feels if that feels mega easy you can go onto your elbows already but we'll just take this nice and gradual Let's go ahead and pop elbows on the ground if you can. That's enough for you to stick up there. If you feel comfy, you can for the back. I thought we were going to hold this here for 30 seconds. Okay, nice and easy up from there. Okay, so next thing we're going to look at is pigeon stretch. So hit our glutes a little bit more. We'll start off on left hand side. So we'll go into a push up position. Left hand, eh, sorry, left foot through, knee on back, knee on the ground. You can keep this front foot in place with the hand a little bit of pain too. And the idea is as we get a little bit more comfortable on this stretch, our bum and our hips are going to get more towards the ground. So if you want, go on the elbows. Guys, keep on breathing, try to get that head as low as the floor as you can. Okay, let's ease it off nice and slow there. Back to the centre and then let's swap the exact same on the other side. So right foot through this time, holding it in place with the foot of me too. Getting that back leg, back knees, my back to the end. Let's hold.
Ok, xin rõ. Em ơi, giờ shake. Nice one. Okay, so to finish off with, we are going to look at feet. So we've got lacrosse ball, preferably something like that rather than a tennis ball, it's a little bit too soft. We are going to start on the right hand side. And the idea is that we're going to start off right at the tip or right at the toes with all your feet going down to just before the heel. And then back to take it quite slow. We're doing particularly sore points, step on it, and then we from side to side as well. So side to side as well. Okay, let's swap sides on the left if you're following me. So make sure we're getting side to side, especially across the bottom of the foot at the top. Good. Okay, ease it up there. And then that is us for the day, guys. Well done.